Thank you, Anita. I think together with its participating organizations representing all human regions undertook extensive research into consumer products made from recycled waste plastics, demonstrating the harmful effects of employing exemptions that will stick new pops for global elimination. The results show that children toys, beauty and decorative products for young women, and even food contact materials are contaminated with penta and octal bromodiphenylether mixtures. These POPs chemicals are listed in the Annex A of the Stockholm Convention for Global Elimination because of their harm to human health and the environment. Our findings confirm the early warnings by the POPs Review Committee that recycling exemptions for all brominated diphenyl eaters would result in widespread contamination of recycled consumer products. The POP groups noted that failure to swiftly eliminate brominated diphenyl eaters from the recycling streams will inevitably result in wider human and environmental contamination and the dispersal of brominated diphenyl eaters into matrices from which recovery is not technically or economically feasible and in the loss of long-term credibility of recycling. And they were right. This is the reality now in all countries where IPAN has tested products. IPAN calls for closure of the loophole in the Stockholm Convention that allows products made from recycled waste to contain these contaminants. Recycled materials containing pops violate the goal, the goal of the Stockholm Convention to protect human health and the environment. It's time for the parties to withdraw its registration for the recycling exemption. Similarly to PENTA and OCTA PDEs, large loopholes allowing continued production and use and company to listing of the company. An IPEN study of recycled plastic pellets from 23 countries showed that Deca BDE was present in the overwhelming majority in 92% of the investigated recycled plastic pellet samples, despite no recycling exemption for the company. Also, the listings of short-chain chlorinated paraffins and perfluorooctanoic acid before included a wide range of exemptions. This leads to further dispersal of pops into the working environment, consumer products, and food chain, despite the goal of global elimination under the Stockholm Convention. We are very encouraged to see the proposed decision to list uh, EFHSS without exemptions.